All right, so the Eaton fire and Palisades fire, as you guys know, has been devastating here in Southern California, and uh, I've been wanting to do something on this for a while. The team was in to the Eaton fire Altadena area like uh, a week ago, and I've been trying everything to get good data on these samples to bring some awareness uh, to those that are moving back into those areas, people that are cleaning up the areas. What is a molecule class other than PAHs and probably PFOSs and then all these other... Um, like brominated flame retardants. There's all sorts of things that are going to be uh, already reported uh, to be hazardous, um, especially like uh, like toxic solvents from just burnt burnt ash. But I wanted to try to find something unique. So uh, I think I finally found it. And so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, these glycol ethers called they're called like glymes. I'm going to call them glymy. So G L Y M E. These are different mono. There's mono. There's dimethylglyamine. There's all sorts of these different things, uh, and uh, dimethoxy. These are basically long chain ethers that are typically methylated. So uh, these are kind of like very soluble ethers, um, and since they're so water soluble, so water miscible, yet toxic, uh, and high boiling point, usually very high boiling point. Uh, they uh, are very uh, pervasive environmental pollution uh, pollutants, and they definitely have some uh, health effects. So uh, do your own research, but this is going to be on uh, these glimy uh, glycol ether products. All right, Eaton fire samples in the lab. We got the electrical box charred out area near a house, but on public property, and a burnt out car tire on a torched vehicle completely destroyed um, again parked on a public street so we're gonna go ahead and extract these with water and then DCM extract the water and put that onto GCMS I think that's probably the easiest way to get some data um, I don't know what we're looking for all right so we're gonna use the exact same tube and we're gonna use our clean deionized water here and so we'll run water blanks for everything just to make sure uh, it's just stuff from the fire. This is the uh, tire. Man, that really kind of just went right into solution. This is the grossest sample of all the samples. I guess it's a burnt out car, so it's a lot of stuff. And then this is the electrical box. Let's get a little bit, uh, I guess it's kind of sludging out now, it's getting into solution. Go. All right, so we got both of those. We'll take uh, about 800 microliters of that, put it into a microfuge tube, and then we're going to DCM liquid extract it onto the GCMS. All right, we've transferred them here into tubes. The burnt out tire sample looks like, like essentially ink, where the burnt out kind of wood electrical box area looks like kind of soot kind of floating in solution, you can see. So this is going to be very different. And then we got a water, a water blanking control. Here we go. We got, this is the burnt out lock box, or electrical box first. Shik, 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 shik. I think with a tire. All right, so before I was able to zero in on these glimies as the issue I want to talk about, I tried everything, guys. I, uh, so you can see this sample is basically black. So I figured to extract it with DCM, put it on the GC, saw nothing but contamination um, just compared to the water blank. So it's why you run the water blanks, so you know if what you see is real or just contamination from the water blank. So anyways, we're going to ignore the GC data, nothing in the GC data. So then I'm like, alright, we'll run headspace. We put a little bit of that liquid again into the headspace tube, heated it 60 degrees C, onto the headspace GC, nothing. Nothing on the headspace GC, just blank, nothing. Okay, so luckily we have the LCMS, we got the Ziva, we got the QTOF, so lots more data processing, takes a little bit more, got to run it through Cirrus here. You can see the LCMS data here in the center, we have the positive mode eat and fire tire data, so positive mode eat and fire tire data, uh, negative mode eat and fire tire data. For this data set, so we're, we're going to know this big salt kind of peak in the beginning, there's definitely more things we can learn. There's some pretty cool, like, uh, sulfo, long-chain sulfo, uh, you know, esters on, like, 
weird lipid chains out here in the high mass range, you can see. But the peak that I'm interested in is this one at 287, and then that mass is either at uh, 223, 245. You can see these are the extracted masses over here, and then there's a model. This is the model for diglymy, the dimethoxyglycol ether. Uh, 223 is the mass with a proton on it, and 245, you can see these are really accurate masses, is uh, the mass uh, with the sodium addict on it. So I've seen both forms. It gives me really good confidence that this is definitely in there. And it's actually a pretty elevated peak. Uh, not seeing the negative mode, we're not seeing it in the blank. So then we go ahead and send this through Cirrus, and you can see that we have the same region here, 286. This is actually showing up if we search this mass, this name here, this is showing up as the tetra glycol dimethyl ether. So these things probably in the in the front source and the mass spec can fall apart. Um, but this one's almost uh, this one's almost like scarier, you can see. This is the tetraglycol dimethyl ether known as T glimy. And um, so th this is uh, again one of these uh, high boiling point, super high temperature. This is in um, lithium battery technology um, and it's a substance of very high concern. These samples were collected right after the rain, so the first rain. So, uh, you know, it's been raining a bit now here in L.A., so this is washing down across uh, the whole area uh, and getting into the water. So we got to be careful. we got to start checking for these things. Let's try to, you know, help these people out. Maybe I'll even put a little fundraiser on here, if I can link to a fundraiser, uh, just to help support the fire victims. So uh, heart goes out to everybody.